were killed, if they are killed, they die shaheed. When they die, they go to the hellfire. They burn in there for eternity. That's the difference. هَلْ تَرَبَّصُونَ بِنَا إِلَّا إِحْدَ الْحُسْنَيَيْنِ Allah says in the Quran, is there any respite for us or is there any result for us except for the two good things? Two good things, either victory or shahad. How can you lose? They are the, the biggest winners in the world today are the people in Gaza. Because they are between two things, victory and martyrdom. And the biggest losers in the world today are those Israeli Zionists who are killing those people because they are being exposed as the most dishonorable and cowardly people I've ever read about with a hundred to one ratio of combatant to non-combatant death. How could it be that Hamas is killing more IDF than the IDF is killing Hamas? And to get your anger out, you're killing the children. According to the IDF figures, Hamas has killed more of them, i.e. the IDF, than Ham they, they've killed Hamas. How? That means you don't want to fight. That means you're a coward. That's what it means. Allah is exposing the cowardice and showing us what you're really about. You get angry and kill a child. There's never been a war in history that has been won by killing women and children. Let that sink in for a second. There's never been a war in history that has been won on killing women and children. You can't win wars by killing women and children. And they're killing them and killing them and killing them. Let's be real about this for a second. How much of the population are they killing? Not even 1%. It will take them 10 years to rebuild the population even more. So you're, even that is a weak strategy. Because you kill 12,000 of them, the Palestinian women, mashallah, they have a three, four kids, five kids, six kids, seven, just to, because of anger, just to show the enemy. So actually the population is increasing. So it's a failed strategy. You destroy some buildings, you think you're winning a war by destroying buildings and killing children. You're losing the war. You're losing everything. You're losing credibility in front of the international community. That's what's happening. And instead, they're getting killed, they're running away from their friends. I saw a particular video with one IDF. He was sitting down saying, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. Coward! I don't want to go, I don't want to go. But you want to be on a plane and press the button. Wallahi, he's worse than a coward. He's worse than all of this. And Allah is exposing even within the Ummah the rotten elements. Isn't he? And that's one of the hikam and the wisdoms. ليميز الله الخبيث من الطيب ويجعل الخبيث بعضه على بعض فيركمه جميعا ويجعله في جهنم أولئك أم الخاسرون That Allah is distinguishing al khabis the impure from the pure and he's accumulating and aggregating the pure things together and then he'll put them all into the hellfire and they're all losers that's the quran that's what the quran says so we are starting to see this guy here this muslim over there this one over there he's a traitor to the cause he's, he's a treacherous person he's against the palestinians this masala this issue has shown us who's with us and shown us who's against us even among the non-Muslims, we have started to see some of the true colors of those individuals. Ha! Huh? We are starting to see it. It's an X-ray. It's an MRI. We're starting to see everything now. You can't say this and what you can... Ah! Which means if my child, if your child, if our children were killed in front of those people, they would be walking in nonchalant and indifference and apathy. They would not care. Now I know you. Because not all Muslims are the same. Now we're able to do tasneef, categorization of this non-Muslim is a hostile one, and this non-Muslim here is a good one, and this Muslim here is a good one, and this one here is a bad one. It's an x-ray machine. 
It's an X-ray. It's an MRI. ليميز الله الخبيث من الطيب ويجعل الخبيث بعضه على بعض في ركبه وجنه 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 ولكن الخاصين. This is the Quran. This is what happens when there's a calamity. There's always good in it. There's always good in the calamity because we start to see everything. Everything is clear. And haven't you noticed that the Muslims are more united now than ever before? That's something I think is one of the greatest things that have come from this situation. That the Muslims have become more united now than ever before. There's one obstacle between us and victory. And do you know what that obstacle is? Unification. That's the obstacle. We have 59 Muslim majority countries. We don't even need all of them to unite together. If five of them united together, you'd have another superpower. Six. Look at the size of Pakistan. 200 and what is it? 30 million? 260, I don't know what it is. 280 million. It's unbelievable. It's almost the size of America. Remember, it's 230 million. You put Pakistan and Indonesia together, that's it. With Turkey and Egypt, it's finished. It's done. They would never like that to happen. Put five or six of these countries. Now, I know you're thinking about the political this and that. I'm just saying it's possible. Because at the end of the day, it's not the politicians who make up the countries. It's the people who make up the countries. And if you push up, and if you push the people too much, they will remove anyone that needs to be removed. Or they will change and push anyone that needs to be changed. That's what's going on. Between us and victory is unification. Unity of the Muslim people. All we need to do is become one body again. Al Muslim, the Muslim kal jasad al wahid, or kal bunyan, ya shuddu ba'd al ba'd. That the Muslim to the other Muslim is like one body, like one building. It pulls itself together. So Allah has taken from us shuhada. Allah has brought us closer to Him. Allah has reminded us of death. Allah has purified the people of Gaza. And He's purified us. Allah has shown us who's our enemy, where the hostilities are, and who is not our enemy. Allah has brought us together. Allah has strengthened our resolve through this calamity. If Israel didn't exist, and the Zionists didn't do what we're doing, we'd be killing each other even more. There's always good and bad. Asa an takrahu shay'an wa huwa khayrun lakum. Wallahu a'lam wa antum la ta'lamun. You can hate something, but it can be good for you. And Allah knows, and you don't know. Zakhmah khayr. The people! The people!